Are you a senior citizen who is hoping to improve your balance so you can reduce your risk of falls? If you are, then this video is going to show you exactly what you need to do. Hi everybody, my name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And today I'm going to be showing you three simple steps to improve your balance. And this video is perfect for people over the age of 50. Now, before we dive into the content of the video, if you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to the channel using the link in the bottom right, because then you'll be the first to hear about our new videos when they come out. Now that that's been said, let's talk about balance and why it's so important. Now, we all give lip service to, to balance. We know that you know balance is an important factor when we want to maintain mobility, but many people underestimate just how important it is. Now, falls is a leading cause of both morbidity and mortality in the developed world for people over the age of 65. Falls cost the NHS billions of pounds every year and lead to significant loss of health and to deaths and to premature hospitalizations and a whole host of problems. And they always start because someone wobbles a little bit and they don't do much about it and then one wobble leads to another, and then before they know it, they're falling, and all it takes is one bad fall to break a hip or a wrist or to cause a significant injury that leads to a hospital stay. Now that all that doom and gloom is out the way, the good news is that we can improve balance and you can do so at pretty much any age. So I'm gonna show you three very safe tricks to improve balance. There are three different exercises that you can do. I'd recommend that anyone over the age of 50 tries doing these several times a day. Don't worry, they're very convenient. You can fit them around your schedule while you're doing other things. And you'll notice an improvement in your balance within the first six to eight weeks for most people. Now, before we start, we have a few safety issues. I would recommend not working on your balance when you're in the home on your own. If something goes wrong, obviously you want someone around to be able to help you. You must also only ever do these exercises when you've got something in front of you that you can hold on to. Quite often I recommend people do this exercise right up next to the corner of a wall. So if they wobble, all they'll do is touch the wall instead. And the reason these safety concerns are important is because to challenge our balance is the only way to improve it. Okay, so we have to do things that are very slightly outside of our comfort zone in order to get better. But don't worry, these exercises are very safe. I give these to people over 50 all the time. Be sure to be checked out by your doctor before you start them, just because everyone is slightly different. But for most people, these exercises are gonna be okay to do. So let's have a look at the exercises. You can have a go at them at home if it's safe for you to do so. And then hopefully you will see some improvements in your balance very soon. So I'm gonna show you here the three balance exercises I recommend to seniors. I'm going to explain two things, first of all, that are quite important to note. The first one is that if it's safe for you to do so, I usually recommend people do these exercises either barefoot or just in socks. The reason for this is that if you're outside of shoes, your foot muscles have to work a bit harder. So we get a bit more of a benefit working on balance exercises if we're just in uh, barefoot or socks. So that's the first thing. The second thing is it's probably best to work on this exercise on a carpeted floor because then if something does go wrong, it's less risky. And the other thing is I've got something back here to hold on to. I'm going to use the back of a chair. You could quite happily use your kitchen worktop or your bathroom sink or the back of a chair at home or even put yourself into the corner of a wall just to provide some stability. So what we're gonna do is show you the three exercises now and you can have a go at them at home if it's safe to do so. So the first exercise we're going to do is what I call close standing, okay? So what we're gonna do is make sure we've got our chair here and when you're doing this at home, you probably want to start off doing it with two hands on the worktop or the chair. So I'm gonna show you this way. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put your feet very close together, so preferably your feet are touching each other, your legs are really close. If you've got a knee problem and you can't do this, just put them as close as you can and still comfortably stand. So you want your feet very close together, 
And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly take away your hands or your fingers from the worktop until you've just got one finger. And then you're going to see how it feels to stand in this position. And for most people, this is going to be comfortable, but for some, this will be a challenge. If it feels comfortable, what you're going to try and do then is take your hands off and put your hands on your hips. And then you're just going to try and stand. And what you'll notice is you'll probably feel a little bit of movement, but it will still be um, pretty, pretty stable for most people. Now, if you find yourself wobbling already or having to use your hands to grab hold of the worktop, this is probably the right level for you now. OK, so as soon as you feel yourself wobbling, that's when you stop. You keep doing that same exercise, but you don't progress any further. What we're trying to do here is find an exercise that's challenging enough to make us wobble, but not so challenging that we keep feeling like we're going to fall over. Now, if this is very, very easy for you, the next step would be to try doing the same thing, but closing your eyes. So if I close my eyes now, what's happening is I've taken away 50% of the tools in my body that help me balance. So we have two major things that help us balance. The first one is our eyesight, because we can orient ourselves with our eyesight. And the second one is the joint receptors in our bodies, which tell us where we are without us having to look down all the time. Now, if I shut my eyes, I've taken away my vision straight away. So I'm making the joint receptors, we call them proprioceptors, work twice as hard. And this is much more challenging than doing it with eyes open. So if you find the eyes open part of this very, very easy, I'd encourage you to have a go at doing it with your eyes closed. So that's the first exercise. For all of these, we usually recommend doing them for about 30 seconds to a minute, just a couple of times a day. And you might do them at times when you're already stood up. So brushing your teeth is a good time to do it when you're waiting for the kettle to boil, or when you're waiting for something to cook on the stove, you can be working on your balance exercises at the same time. So the second exercise is similar, but what we're gonna do is you're gonna use the worktop as before, put one hand or two hands on, and this time you're gonna put most of your weight on one leg, and the other one is gonna come in front of that leg, so your foot is on the floor and your toes are touching your heel. So now what we have is effectively yourself in a very narrow line. You can imagine that you're walking a tightrope and you can see that already this is more challenging for my balance. Now, when I'm stood like this, what's happening really is about 70% of the work is happening on the back leg and about 30% is happening on the front. OK, so again, this is quite challenging for this leg. I can feel the foot working quite hard. And what you can do is a similar process to before. If you stand like this, you start with your hands on, slowly take away fingers until you can feel like you can take everything away and have your hands on your hips, but something nearby just in case you need to grab it. Now, once you've done 30 seconds on one foot, what you would do is you would swap because we need to make sure things are even. So you put the other leg at the back, the one that was at the back goes at the front, you have the heel touching the toes, and again, you try and balance like this. Now, if you're feeling brave, you can try doing this one as well with your eyes shut, similar to how we did it in the close stance work as well. So that's your second one. I'll just show you from the sides, just so you get an idea of what that looks like sideways on. I'll move that out of the way so you can see better. You're gonna have one foot in front, one at the back. They should both be pointing parallel in the same direction. And you're just gonna try and stand there without using your hands and if you can shut your eyes you can try doing so you'll notice your foot having to work very hard so that's your your second one the third one is again another step more difficult and this is a single leg stand so we're going to go all the way on to just one leg now so again something to hold on to preferably like this maybe with two hands to begin with and you're just going to stand on one foot you're going to make sure your pelvis doesn't drop to one side when you do it. You want to keep your pelvis level. And what you're going to slowly do is take away hands and fingers just until maybe you've got one finger on with each hand. When you feel able to, you can take one hand away entirely. And then when you feel able to do this, you can take away both. And again, you're just balancing on one leg. Now, this is perfect for brushing the teeth, again, or waiting for the kettle to boil. 
it's a really good time to do it. And if you notice yourself swaying, that's a good sign. It means that you're challenging your balance centers. And as you get better at doing this, you'll get less and less sway. Now, if you've done this, obviously you do the other side as well, and you find it very, very easy, then there's another way to challenge your balance, which progresses this on even further. And I call this exercise the floor star. So what you're going to do is you're going to start just by balancing on one leg. You want something nearby again that you can hold on to if you need to. Then with the other foot, you're going to reach your foot forward and touch your toes on the floor. Then you're going to reach your foot back and touch your toes. We're not taking any weight through the toes. You're going to reach to the side, touch the floor, and then you're going to reach across and touch the floor. So you can see how this foot's having to adjust as I move my center of gravity. So we go forward, back, side, side. And what this does is it very well replicates the way we use our center of gravity throughout the day. Because when we're walking, we're obviously not stable, we're moving. So when we're doing this, we're moving and our body has to adapt to that changing center of gravity. So I hope that makes sense. Those are a few really good ideas for improving your balance. Most people will start with the close stance one and then build their way up slowly. As I said, just do this little and often. You don't need to do hours of this every day. Two to five minutes a day is enough to notice a change over a period of six to eight weeks. Give it a go and see how you get on. So those are the three exercises that I recommend over 50s do daily to improve their balance. It's amazing how quickly your balance can improve if you stick to doing these every day. If you don't see improvements straight away, don't panic. Often it can take a few weeks to start to see a change, but the improvement in your general safety and mobility will be massive if you stick to these over time. Anyway, that's all I had to say about today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave me a comment below because I love reading every single one. And if you want more from me, you can pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50, and you can find it on Amazon using the link below this video. It has tons more tips and tricks like today's uh, information. So that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time, and I look forward to speaking to you on the next video.